All right, everybody, this is about reeds. We're going to talk about the bane of all sax players, right? The reed. You may have discovered now that reeds are a real pain in the neck sometimes, but you got to have them. Whether they're cane or synthetic, doesn't matter. What I'm going to tell you today works, all except for the part about where you have to get the reed wet. You don't have to get a synthetic reed wet, but if you're playing one, you already know that. Hey, I'm going to give you a couple of tips, but first I want to, I want to lay some things out for the beginner among you, all right? There's a sequence in which you put the reed on the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece on the neck, all right? I see a lot of beginning students take the neck and they, uh, they, they put the neck into the saxophone, into the tenons of the saxophone. Then they stick this on and they wank away on this and pull down in the neck, all right? That can bend the neck and damage your saxophone. No, 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 no. So here's the, uh, here's the actual order of, uh, of goodness here, all right? So you get your reed nice and wet. And you're going to align it up with a table, the flat part of your mouthpiece, just like that. You stick it on there. All right. And I use a couple of fingers to line everything up here. Got a ligature. This bad boy here. Slide that over the top and bring it down. Now, now, quite often students will have the ligature set too high in the mouthpiece. Can you see that? Can you see that, that, that gap right there? Can you see the, the, the mouthpiece kind of has the, it, well, the, the, Hard rubber mouthpiece I'm using. This is the Meyer, a 5M. It's got a little duck bill here. I'd like you to align the top of your mouthpiece, uh, excuse me, ligature, uh, just below that. And again, then just below this uh, this smile where they cut the cane, uh, where they, they cut the cane reed, okay? I want to see a little bit of that cane smile, and I want to see uh, all of the duck bill here, okay? I don't even know if that's the right word for it. Duck bill. Dave, come on. All right, so we've got your... We've got your, we've got this business all set up and put together right here. We've got your, uh, your, now your, your mouthpiece and your, your, you know, this is the buzzer. It all starts right here. And somehow your saxophone, that five feet of brass tube or whatever, however many feet it is, modifies what comes out of this and makes that beautiful sound. Now, a lot of students will put their read on like that and they'll wonder why the hell it doesn't sound any good. Well, I'll tell you, it's not lined up. There's no way that it can seal meaning vibrate against the tip and the rails, all right? So look, we're going to pull it down just a little bit here, and I'm going to show you how to check the seal with something called the pop test. Don't feel bad if you can't do this. It requires a little coordination, but not much. So look, you've got your reed on there. You've got your ligature on there. Everything is hap, 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 happy, right? Take this palm. You're going to press the mouthpiece into the meaty, fleshy part of your palm, and then just suck all the air out of the there, and it'll pop. It pops when you move this away from the, the you, you, you break the suction that's created when you suck on the reed. There you go. Now you know this is functioning perfectly. Now, to make it function, well, oh, 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 one thing, one last thing. Now that this is put together, that's step one. Step two is you're going to scoochie this, nice good grip on the neck, Scoochy, 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 and you've got your mouthpiece on. Now this business can go into the saxophone. After one, I'm going to give you one, one more little tip, but first I want to show you reed pros. Just a little bit about how to make a reed play a little bit stiffer or a little bit looser. There are micro adjustments that you can make. And the first one, to make the reed play a little with a little more, you know, a little more pushback. Make a softer reed play a little stiffer. We'll move the tip of the reed just up barely past the tip of the mouthpiece okay just like that that tends to make a reed push push back a little bit it makes it, it just makes it play a little a little bit harder to play so if that's what you want do that if you want the reed to blow a little more easily you got a stiff reed on there and uh you need to you know get a little less pushback then what you can do is slide the reed down a little bit so that you've got like a little thumbnail of, uh, of mouthpiece showing above the tip, just like that. Tighten your leg back up and see if that doesn't work for you. There you go. Now, uh, uh, someone I follow on, uh, on YouTube says you can actually get better performance by moving the reed in micro. These are micro adjustments, by the way. A little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. So it's not just dead center. Uh, I don't know if it makes it better, but in my case, it hasn't made it worse. All right. So 
couple little ideas you can try. Now back to the beginner, the newbie with the saxophone. You're gonna scoochie, you've got the you've got the buzzer all put together here. You got your reed, got your ligature, your reed's in the right place, you've ascertained that. You're gonna you're gonna just just gently scoochie this on, and now you're gonna blow into the neck. You don't have to make a tone, you can if you want. But you don't have to. The idea is to make the metal of the neck feel warm to touch, all right? A warm neck is a happy neck, and a happy neck is a happy saxophone. That's all I got. Thanks for being here. If you got any value out of this lesson today, hit that love button, would you? The YouTube people tell me algorithms make the world go around, whatever algorithms are. And if you'd like to see more lessons like this, the subscribe button is your best friend. You can reach out to me and get in touch. I'll put my uh, my contact Gmail in the description below. And I'm also taking on some new clients from wherever you are. If you've got a good Wi-Fi connection, we can Zoom together. And I'll put the details of how to connect with that in motion in the, in the, in the, in the description below. All right. Hey, everybody take care. Have fun. Make your read work for you. Not vice versa.